humans also process water. Some evaporates as sweat, while some is processed in other ways. In Florida, much of that wastewater goes to septic tanks. Drain fields from those tanks often allow nitrates to leach into the ground. A better destination is a wastewater treatment facility that safeguards the community against disease and protects the groundwater from unwelcome contamination. The plant speeds up natural processes to break down wastes into harmless byproducts. Fluids in the tanks are vigorously agitated to provide microbes with a favorable environment for feeding. Then, a series of settling and treatment processes creates a finished product. Okay, Tom, let me uh, jot down our data here. This is going to be profile sample number four, looking at the general water chemistry, and uh, let's see, depth is uh, 82 feet. All right, time. Okay, I got it. Let's go, Tom. I've got them really clearly here. It looks like they're heading for those houses right, right over there. there huh? Excuse us, excuse us, cave survey team coming through. I'm going to mark this just because I'm right in the middle of the fairway here. It'll be an interesting uh, spot to have. Deep below the golf course, the divers continue to transmit the signal to Wes and Brian. Well, this just goes to show you that there's no facet of life that these underground systems aren't able to travel under. Here we're literally going underneath somebody's patio here and uh, into their sliding glass door and into their Florida room. How close should I go to the house? <laughs> well, I don't know. Let's go through the house if we can. Let's go through the house. <laughs> well, 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 how about this? <laughs> You're a comedian. So this is someone's water well? Yeah, there are millions of wells that tap the Florida aquifer here in the state. It's not uncommon for us to find these things down here. They're in the plumbing of the earth, underneath the water plumbing of the house. It's a little poetic there, huh? Yeah, now they're heading out towards the driveway. Yeah. Heading this way. Now look at this. Oh. Oh. This is uh, reclamation water. This is just what I was telling you about. This is one of the best solutions to Florida's growing water problem. Uh, this water is coming from the wastewater treatment facility, and it's treated water. Um, we don't want to drink this water, but this is perfect for irrigation and uh, to put out on yards and golf courses, and it's how it's being used here in this golf community. Hey, Tom, swimming down these passages, what we're really doing is exploring the hidden rivers of Florida. Wes and Brian are discovering there are no places in Florida that are exempt from concern. Every Floridian has to think hard about how their actions might be affecting the groundwater beneath their feet. Floridians live atop a vast ancient limestone foundation that was once a shallow coral sea. Laid down over millions of years, the skeletal remains of sea creatures were compacted into rock that is now riddled with caves. Tom and Jill are now traveling through a layer of rock that was slowly washed away over time. It's low, and they have to move carefully to find spaces that are large enough to travel through. The caves become little more than cracks, and swimming becomes more like crawling. So sorry, Jill, it's, it's getting ugly up here. Oh, I, I can't see much, but I think it's bigger on the right more than a 90 degree turn, about a 120 degree turn. Yeah, I'm right over the top at the moment. So it must be really small and tangly down there right now. Get off the food here now. I'm almost nervous. You can, you can feel, you can feel that this area they're in right now is different than a lot of the places they've been in. Although they have accomplished many things on this expedition, they're looking through the murky water squarely at a possible defeat. Uh, great. That's just what I needed to hear. 
Their objective to make it to the spring looks impossible from this viewpoint. The divers decide there is no way to go forward. But before quitting, they have just enough air to look for an alternate route that will hopefully lead to the springs. We work down to a snail's pace through here. It'll be interesting to, to hear their version of what kind of environment they were in when they were going through this truck. Finally, an encouraging sign. They can feel the current of the water at their back. Now this is quintessential karst geomorphology, huh? This is where karst gets its name, this beautiful lime rock terrain like this. They finally found their way forward. Looks like we're back in the flow, Tom. Top of them here. Oh wow, look at this. Man, is that pretty. It's beautiful though. Finally, after twists and turns, crawling through the cracks, victory is within their grasp. All right, well, here they are. They're, they're coming through a sinkhole. You know, here we are at the end of the water's journey, and most people think of this as the beginning. In reality, this water has come all this way through all these features. Underneath golf courses, restaurants, highways, just unbelievable. You would not believe the places y'all have been underneath. In the end, the dive team successfully traveled more than 10 miles through the underground systems of Florida to enlighten people about their relationship with their drinking water. Recognizing that protection of recharge areas is one of the best ways to safeguard groundwater, the Florida Department of Environmental Protection is currently purchasing thousands of acres of sensitive lands within the recharge zones of several of Florida's largest springs. Oh, Pleasure to meet you. A major victory. State legislators have put a priority on funding research, education, and land acquisition efforts through the Florida Springs Initiative. Over 300 farmers have voluntarily adopted and installed facilities suggested by best management practices. Additional efforts being made by farms, businesses, homeowners, and local government are proving that we can reduce, even reverse, the negative impact being made on groundwater and springs. It's the greatest groundwater system on Earth. There's not another aquifer on the planet like the Florida aquifer. We can make a difference. We can change the negative direction the water quality and quantity is going, but we just have to put a little effort into it.